All right, gang, Nick Slada with Red Ox Insurance Agency here. Want to talk to you real quick about scheduled auto policy. What's a scheduled auto policy and why is it important for you as a trucker? There's different types of insurance policies out there. There's any auto, basically means no matter what vehicle you're operating, even if the insurance company doesn't know about it, it's covered. There's hired auto, which means anything that you're renting, even if the insurance company doesn't know about it, it's covered. There's non-owned, which would mean, an example of that would be if you have an employee that decides to use, that you have them use their own vehicle for work and it's not on the insurance policy, but it's gonna be covered. Most truckers, especially new venture truckers, have what's called a scheduled auto policy. Scheduled meaning it has to be listed on the policy. So for example, if, you, if, you, if your business owns two trucks you're operating two trucks, then you have to have two, tr two trucks on your policy. Um, that insurance company that submitted that federal filing paperwork to the FMCSA is essentially when they file that paperwork, they're telling the FMCSA and they're telling all the citizens of America that you as a trucker, trucking company is properly insured, meaning all company owned and or operated vehicles are covered under insurance in case something were to happen. So what happens is truckers sometimes try to avoid maybe a premium increase or maybe it's an honest mistake, but they don't let the agent or the insurance company know that they have other vehicles that they're operating. Let me just give you an example of that. I have a issue going on right now with a client that is hurting for cash, I understand why. I mean, the freight rate's down, insurance is up, parts are up. I mean, it's just tough right now for a trucker. So this guy, rather than tell me that he had two additional trucks, decided to just run them under his authority without letting me know or without letting the insurance company know. No. And then what happens is the insurance company's not stupid most of the time they're going to catch you if you're doing that and what in this particular situation the insurance company sent the trucker a letter saying hey we need you to list all the vehicles that you own or operate under your authority and send this back to us so the client filled out that form put the vehicles that he has listed on the policy on that form and sent it back to the underwriting department of the insurance company about a week after that the insurance company had time to review it. They canceled the policy. And then they call me and they say, hey, we're canceling this policy effective this date. And let me explain to you why. Well, what happened was this particular trucker had two extra vehicles that he was running under his authority that got inspected. So anytime you're, you get an inspection, it's going to be on the safer report. The FMCSA is going to report that in safer. The insurance companies, they're going to see that all day long, especially if there's an inspection on a VIN number that's not listed on the policy. It's going to trigger an underwriting review. Letter goes out, letter comes back. It's not answered truthfully. You're going to get canceled. And here's why the insurance companies don't play around with that. Why they're going to cancel you, drop you like a bad habit if that happens. And here's why. The federal filing that they send to the FMCSA saying, hey, they're covered. They're covering you no matter if the vehicle is listed or not. So let's say in this example, the guy that's running two trucks that aren't listed on the policy, one of those trucks gets involved in a horrible accident. Worst case scenario, somebody dies. Well, guess what? The insurance company that sent the FMCSA the paperwork showing that you have insurance has to cover you, legally has to cover you for liability for that vehicle, even though it wasn't listed on the policy. So what happens now is they're gonna make a payout. It's gonna be a million dollar claim, right? It's a, it's a fatality. They're gonna pay out a million dollars, yet they weren't getting their proper premium. And what happens is it's gonna really screw the rest of the truckers of America out there, especially in that state, because insurance companies are gonna raise their rates across the board. So even if you're the trucker that's clean as a whistle, no moving violations, no claims, your safer score looks great, 
DOT is perfect and you get a rate increase at renewal and you're like, what the heck? Why is this happening to me? I'm clean as a whistle. And I have to have that conversation all the time. Well, the insurance company took a beating in your particular state overall. So they have to raise rates overall and everybody's feeling the effects of it. So if you're the trucker out there trying to get over on the insurance company and something bad happens and the insurance company pays more than what they should have because they didn't get their proper premium, you're just screwing your buddy because they're going to end up having to pay more in claims. Don't get me wrong. I realize how tough it is right now in the trucking industry. It is tough. I've got clients that have gone out of business because they just didn't make it. And I'm hoping you watch this video and just know it's more important to be legal, to do things the right way than to try to get over on your agent or the insurance company because it's going to hurt everybody if you don't properly insure your trucking company. So if you have any questions about what kind of policy you have, if you need a quote, I just want to talk about trucking, feel free to visit our website, redoxinsurance.com. You can contact us there. We'll be happy to answer any questions or concerns that you have. Thank you for watching this video. Good luck to you, truckers.